up, welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna to be installing a shift linkage on my 2021 Rogue Glide Special. Uh, this shift linkage is from San Jose Customs. So you guys see me promote this product on the channel before I added a blue one, which is almost the same size as this black one that I got right here. Um, the blue one I installed on the uh, Dyna that I had. Um, so he sent this red one out to me for the Roguelite and the black one out for the uh, Softail Low Rider S that I have. Um, so today we're going to be installing this one on. Um, stuff like this just, you know, makes your bike pop out, makes your bike stand out a bit more. A bit different from the pack, just li little stuff like this, little touches just, I don't know, just adds a little touch to it. So, but before that, we get into, you know, how we got to do on this channel. We got to take a little, nice little cheers, nice little sip of beer first. Mmm. Rocking out with Corona today, man. You can't, you can't go wrong with Corona. Okay. You guys have seen several San Jose Customs parts on this channel before. Those are the same risers that I'm rocking out with on my 2020 uh, Low Rider S. Love those risers. Product, absolute A1. So, if you are interested in getting some of this stuff, I do have a promo code with them so you can save yourself some hard-earned cash. So I'll be looking that uh, down below with the link as well. You guys can shop in there, save 10%, and make your bike look good. Now this is a very, very easy install. You're just gonna be taking off the old one, unscrewing that, and then screwing this one on, and that, that's, that's it. You're, you're all set to go. San Jose Customs also produces their products and their items here in the US of A. Uh, so always a plus. I love companies that you know make their own stuff here in the country. So we're gonna start with the front bolt here and loosen that up. Now don't forget you are gonna need a little bit of Loctite for this as well when you install the new one on. So let's compare the stock to the new one. Obviously as you can see this looks really 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 nice man. So we now got the linkage installed. So in the back part, this is what is gonna look like. That ball joint right there from the shink linkage is gonna go in the front of the uh, arm right there. Uh, as opposed to the front one where it goes behind it. That from a bird's eye view leaves everything nice and straight. That's gonna be it guys, so looks good. I like the way it looks, definitely pops out a lot. Like I said before, little stuff like this is definitely gonna make your bike um, stand out from the rest of the pack. It just looks good, feels good. Well, I'm nowhere near a mechanic. Pretty simple install, just take some bolts off, put it on, make sure it's the same measurement of the stock one, and you should be A1. Um, like I said before, and I mentioned, little stuff like this is gonna definitely make your bike stand out from the rest of the pack. Just that little, nice little red touch right there. Makes it look really good. Um, if you guys are interested in shopping for any of the San Jose Customs, they got a bunch of swag, so a bunch of caps, uh, hoodies, they got jackets, they got risers, shift linkage, lights, and a bunch of cool stuff on the website. So I'm gonna be linking that website down below. Also my promo code, so uh, save yourself some hard earned cash. And uh, that's gonna be it, man. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby.